So thank you, first of all, uh, for giving me the, opportun the opportunity to present uh, this, uh, this work and this uh, project. So I will uh, uh, briefly describe uh, the results, uh, results I obtained in collaboration with uh, Piermarco Cannazza and uh, Pierre Cardaliaghe on the asymptotic behavior of solutions to further their mean free games. So I will go through, first of all, a preliminary introduction to the main result in weak AM theory, which we will apply first to first order the classical first order mean field game system. And then uh, how we adapt uh, such a setting to uh, describe the asymptotic behavior for solutions to uh, the mean field game system with control of acceleration. So the main result in WKM theory is the WKM theorem from uh, Albert Fadi. Uh, so considering uh, uh, Tonelli Hamiltonian on uh, RD times RD, we know that there exists a constant CH, so a constant that only depends on, uh, the, on the Hamiltonian, such that uh, the ergodic equation, so H equal to a constant C when, uh, uh, when X belongs to RD, admits a global viscosity solution for the constant C equal to this constant CH and does not admit any such solutions for any C uh, less than the constant CH. Moreover, we also have uh, a characterization of this uh, constant CH which will be uh, the main point uh, in the application to the minfield games. So it is the introduction of uh, uh, probability measures and uh, a kind of relaxed uh, Lagrangian action to describe this constant uh, CH. So if we denote by L the uh, Tonelli Lagrangian associated with the Hamiltonian H, we have that the constant C is equal to minus the infimum of this uh, relaxed Lagrangian action, so the integral of the Lagrangian against this measure mu, where mu varies among all the probability measures uh, satisfying uh, this, uh, uh, this relation. So uh, here I also recall that the constant CH is also known as the Magnes critical values, and uh, the, the set of probability measures uh, uh, satisfying uh, uh, this relation is also called, uh, uh, are also called closed measures. How we apply uh, this result to the Minfield Games? So we know that the, the classical Minfield game system uh, is the one that, uh, that we know. So it's the backward hamilton jacobi equation and the forward uh, continuity equation. We consider and we studied first the ergodic counterpart of the evolutive system. So uh, the system given the, described by the ergodic Hamilton-Jacobi equation, where we have uh, uh, the Hamiltonian depending on the coupling function and the measure is stationary in this case, plus this constant C and uh, the, uh, the ergodic, uh, let's say like the ergodic uh, uh, continuity equation the, uh, that as usually is described by the optimal feedback given by the uh, Hamilton-Jacobi equation. So the purpose uh, of our work was to describe uh, uh, the limit uh, as the time horizon goes to infinity of the solution U capital T and M capital T. And uh, we did it uh, in a work uh, in collaboration with uh, Marco Cannarsa. So uh, we proved, uh, first of all, uh, the existence uh, of the, uh, an ergodic solution to the system that is a triple. So it's a viscosity solution U bar to the Hamilton Jacobi equation, a, a, a measure M bar, where M bar is a projected matter measure. So it's the measure I introduced before in, uh, in the weak AM theorem and solves uh, the continuity equation in the sense of distributions. And in particular, we identify the constant C bar with uh, this constant uh, C that depends on M bar, which is uh, the Magnus critical values associated with the Hamiltonian H minus F, evaluated at the projected mother measure. 
So the asymptotic behavior we described is that the average value function, so one over capital T of uh, U times U capital T, converge to a perturbation of the Magnet's critical values. So yeah, this converge to this perturbation of the Magnet's critical values. And we also uh, describe the, the asymptotic behavior of the measure when we evaluated, uh, we evaluate the coupling function F. So this is the result uh, for the classical main field game system. And now uh, we tried uh, to adapt the setting to the uh, main field game system with control of acceleration. So now the, the evolutive uh, mean field game system, we are considering the one uh, in, uh, in blue. So we, uh, I just no want to stress the fact that we are considering a, a state space uh, given by a position X on the torus, uh, on the D-dimensional torus and uh, a velocity V that clearly uh, belongs to uh, RD. So we, the setting is uh, still, uh, um, uh, the system is still uh, defined on a non-compact state space. We first uh, prove the existence of solutions and the well posedness, uh, let's say, of the system uh, in a working collaboration with Pierre Marco Cannazza, and we describe uh, the asymptotic behavior with Pierre Cardalia again. So uh, the first guess was to, the, was to still describe, describe the asymptotic behavior by using uh, the, ergodic, uh, the ergodic system. But the first thing uh, that we observed is that uh, uh, just studying uh, the, control, uh, the control system, so even uh, without looking at the hamilton jacobi equation with the uh, mean field interaction, we observed that the system has what is called the lack of small time controllability. So the idea is that uh, you cannot steer one point uh, uh, to another if you want both to control the time to steer this point and also the action. So the amount you have to pay to move from one point to another. So this lack of small time controllability in uh, implies that uh, continuous viscosity solution to the ergodic hamilton jacobi equation might not exist. And so uh, the ergodic system does not make sense in this way. Uh, this is easy to see, uh, just writing the system as usual, it depends on the uh, optimal feedback that in this case is given by the gradient of U bar, so the solution to the hamilton jacobi equation that might not exist. So the first uh, step uh, toward uh, the description of the uh, ergodic behavior of the asymptotic behavior was to uh, write a new uh, ergodic mean field games problem. So uh, still um, having um, taking uh, some ideas from uh, weak, AMT, weak AMT theory, uh, we uh, write the ergodic problem as a fixed point problem on the vastest time space. So we define first closed probability measure in this setting. So uh, measures satisfying this first relation. And we say that a couple given by lambda bar u bar, so a constant times a closed probability measure, is a solution to the, mean, to the ergodic mean field game problem if lambda bar is uh, the fixed point problem, uh, is, the, um, is, the mean, is the infimum among all these uh, uh, closed measure of the relaxed Lagrangian, uh, Lagrangian action. So as you can see here, here, you can see here there is a, a fixed point problem on the vastest time space. So we have uh, the marginal in space of the or in space times velocity of the measure mu inside uh, the coupling function f, and the minimum is reached at the at the measure mu bar. So uh, we prove the existence of an ergodic solution, so that there is indeed uh, there exists. Uh, 
um, there exists a fixed point. And then uh, we prove uh, um, the uh, asymptotic, we show the asymptotic behavior of solutions. And so as the time horizon goes to infinity, we describe the behavior of the average value function. This time uh, uh, evaluated at, t, uh, at small t equals zero. This is equal to the constant lambda bar. So in some sense, the Magnier's critical value is associated with the Hamiltonian I showed before. And we also prove that the time average the, uh, of the integral of the value function ut against the initial distribution of agents still converge to the constant uh, lambda bar. So I want to spend the last minute, uh, minute to, uh, to describe the open problems related to these uh, results. Clearly, the first uh, is a kind of PDE description, if possible, of the um, of the ergodic mean field game system for the case of um, control of acceleration, and then uh, improve the result, the convergence result for the Tonelli and also for the acceleration for so for a non Tonelli setting. Indeed, what is missing for this science is a kind of turnpike property, what is uh, uh, well known uh, for the second order case. So uh, just in, uh, besides the analysis of the infield game system, uh, what will be, will be interesting is the analysis of the hamilton jacobi equation without mean field interaction and study the uh, existence of continuous or also discontinuous viscosity solution to the ergodic hamilton jacobi equation when the setting is non-tonelli. So for instance, considering an Hamiltonian, which is not coercive, nor neither coercive, nor strictly convex in the momentum variable. So thank you for the attention. Okay, thank you very much, Christian. Is there any quick question for Christian? Question to understand. Assume that the velocity is uh, has a noise. I think that this would be much easier. Can you can you confirm? So you would have the velocity and the position, but the velocity would be would be randomized with with a with a noise. Okay. Mm -hmm. So so I, I guess the the problem would be would be easier. Can can you confirm this? What what is your your uh, feeling about this? I I guess so. I mean, I think just just thinking to the classical setting and the results uh, that were was obtained in the classical setting, I think that also in this case uh, would be much easier to study the asymptotic behavior. But as far as I know, uh, this has not been done. I mean, uh, even even when you uh, randomize uh, along the velocity direction. And, and would it make sense then to let the viscosity in the velocity tend to zero, so you you you, you make two limits. You you pass to the limit in time um, when there is velocity when there is viscosity, and and then you let viscosity tend to zero, and then you would recover your notion of solution, I presume. Sure, but uh, I mean uh, this is um, uh, clearly this is a, an interesting problem. I mean uh, there should be some gap. I mean, um, or or you use this approach and prove uh, the existence of solution, or uh, there should be some gap proving that continuous solution does not exist. I mean, uh, uh, our approach does not prove uh, that solution does not exist. Our approach just shows that might not exist. So uh, using a kind of uh, uh, banishing viscosity should work or not. I mean. Uh, I'm not sure, honestly. Okay, thank you.